Okay, hello everybody. So, I bought this Russian 500 mm telephoto, super telephoto lens. It's a mirror telephoto lens, so it's actually quite short, as you can see, physically quite short. And in today's episode, we are gonna compare the sharpness of this lens into some Canon. Uh, in this case, I have 300 mm lens with an extender. And the question is, why to compare apples with oranges as these are one I don't have any other super telephoto lenses and two why not you can buy these quite cheap about I don't know $100 or so and obviously you have to buy also some kind of uh, converter in this case I bought this couple dollars uh, EOS converter this lens has a constant aperture of f8 so i have heard some rumors that this is incredibly sharp now let's find out if it's true for this use i have uh, i'm gonna use this uh, super heavy and uh, stiff uh, tripod it snaps quite well and it's not shaking it feels quite stiff and obviously i'm gonna use this timer when i take the photo and one should use even the 10 seconds timer because I have in my tests I have learned that this two seconds is not enough since when you push the button it actually shakes more than two seconds after you have pushed it and also I'm gonna put the mirror lockup on okay let's take that uh, the bench and as you can see even with this tripod when I'm touching the lens it shakes like Hell. Okay, now it's in focus. I need to use ISO 400 to get to shutter speed 50. Whatever. Let's take a photo. Yep. Remember to take all the filters off so they don't affect the picture. And here we can see what the stabilizer does. If you have a good tripod, you shouldn't use stabilizer because it actually makes it more shaky. Now I have opened the uh, pictures in Photoshop. I haven't put any sharpening or any effects on it. Okay. First of all, I'll take the saturation off since I'm now interested in the sharpness, not in the colors that much. I also need to scale the uh, Canon picture a bit bigger since it's equivalent to 490 millimeters instead of 500. So this is how much I need to scale it bigger. I know it's quite strange to scale the images when we are comparing the sharpnesses, but what interests me is that is there any reason for me to carry the Soviet lens with me when I have the Canon 300 and the extender? The first thing I gotta say is that this Soviet F8 is much darker than Canon Japanese F8. This MTO text tells which one is which, so this is the Soviet lens and this is Canon. So this is how big the difference is. I will also brighten the picture a bit so now it's quite close also the soviet lens is after the brightening it's still vignettes quite much as you can see from here anyway these uh, screws here are the parts that we focused the lens in and uh, if i compare these two i would say that there's not much difference but the bright dots are uh, leaking a bit in this MTO lens and also these edges even though the the Canon picture was scaled bigger still I would say it's sharper than this MTO lens small difference but in the in the edges I would say there's more for example here if I look at the branches here and I compare this Canon with the MTO there's much bigger difference in the sharpness or if I look at these 
here. If I go on the opposite corner here, I would say that this MTO lens, which is this one, has a bit less chromatic aberration than, actually quite much less than the Canon lens. Here's the second pair of pictures. Here's the MTO and here's the Canon lens. If I zoom in, if I look at the bolt here, this is where the focus was set. I'd say the Canon is here also a slight, slightly sharper, not much. However, the contrast in Canon lens seems better. Here is without any effects. I can see that it's the contrast in Canon lens is better. Okay. This is where we took the focus. This is the most clearest picture. I, I, it's it's definitely sharper in Canon. In conclusion, we have a clear winner here, which is Canon. Still, I have to say in defense of this MTO lens that it's it's incredibly sharp considering that it's a 500 millimeter super telephoto lens. And uh, we are not far away from the limitations of the camera neither. If it was much sharper, we would need more megapixels in the camera. What I used here is a 5D Mark IV full frame camera. And one has to remember, obviously, that it's f8. So I'd say you can only use it in bright daylight. Anyway, this was a fun test to make. Thank you for watching and please don't subscribe.